Let me just quickly catch you up with things. The weekend was a bust. Basically, the only bit of vlogging I did in the whole weekend was uh, a nice time lapse of the snow falling. I did on Saturday do 100 meters at four kilometers an hour on this thing. I honestly don't know what I'm doing now. Because I'm obviously not going for a run. I mean, look how I'm dressed. But I do have a busy day and I quite fancy doing at least the tiniest amount of, okay, there's not going to be exercise. Let's get that straight right from the beginning. Yeah, so on Saturday I did 100 meters at four kilometers an hour. That's a jog, whereas this is a walk. The ankle portion of my foot seems to be okay now, more or less. But there's definitely something in the foot that is either still very badly bruised or fractured or broken. I really don't know because they haven't had an x-ray. I'm going to try and do 200 metres today. 300 metres and it was 6 kilometres an hour. Right, I think my, my foot's done all the exercise it wants to do for today. I figure I'd give that another week and I should be running, if not properly, better. Time to get ready to go and uh, get Jasper ready for school as well. Are we going to do things slightly differently today, Jasper? Look what's in the back of the car. Um, the cars, Jasper. My car. My wheels need to be coated. What I want to do is I want to get the wheels that are on the car cleaned and coated and repaired and I can't do that while they're on the car so if we take those ones off put the old ones on and then in a couple of days time we'll take the old ones off and put the new ones back on that's the plan because now I can see the old wheels again yeah you'll see the old wheels again when I pick you up from school I know the old wheels much better than you So here I am back at petrol head detailing to get a few things sorted, hopefully. Bit of a stain over here. It's a bit of water damage from when I jet washed the car a while ago. It's still hurting. Hopefully they can steam that out. And also the wheels here, bit of a scuff mark. They're gonna take those wheels off, the black ones, and hopefully get the scuff fixed and then coat the wheels do a ceramic coating on them so they're going to put the gray older wheels back on now and i've got to keep those in perfect condition because they're going to a new owner when i'm done with them in about hopefully a few days time anyway let's go in and say hi ankle went to sleep a little bit back there but right in terms of the, the scuff on this on this wheel yeah it's not very deep at all even though it's only a light scuff yeah they still treat the wheel in its entirety. And what they'll do is essentially shot blast the whole thing back. So strip all of the current uh, powder coat off there. Yeah. So they're working with bare metal. They'll assess and make sure that basically, um, if that was deeper, they'd have, they'd have filled it. But essentially here, they're just going to flatten that back a bit. So make yeah. sure it matches the rest of the rim. And then they will re-powder coat it, bake it, rebalance the tire when they put that back on as well mm -hmm. so essentially when it comes back it, the, you can't tell that it's been refurbed it looks as good as new okay cool the problem you have is if you book that for a smart repair yeah the, the way that and, and because it is a smart repair it's a cheaper fix you would find that that would get kind of cleaned down on the faces mm -hmm. and then they would essentially rub that down and then overspray it and then put like a heat lamp on it the problem you have with that is it blows the overspray through so the actual inside of the barrel of the wheel, if it's not clean enough, they're actually going to spray over the dirt and then they'll seal it all in. And we have yeah, a problem right. where sometimes we get a, a car in for a full detail, we take the wheels off to protect them, put a sealant on there or something, and we find it's had a smart repair. And actually the black dirt has actually all been sprayed into the, underneath the uh, lacquer in most cases. But right. obviously yours are matte so they wouldn't have a lacquer on them. It ruins the finish, so that's why you're better going to professional to have a proper, okay proper so does research. that mean they'll just respray the one wheel yeah so what i'll do so is i always take because we're going to take all four off so we can put the other yeah. back on there i'll take one wheel with me for the refurb and another one as a reference so right. that, that way they can then there'll, there'll be a paint code for the wheels anyway but 
that way they can make sure that once that's been resprayed, it matches perfectly to one of the other wheels as well. You did mention a while ago you might be able to steam off the um, the stain mark oh, yeah. under there. Yeah, I don't see why we can't do that. It's probably going to take a bit longer than, a go than, than an hour or so to sort it out. We probably need it for a good half a day. And also, the other thing we mentioned was it's painting up these centres oh, yes. on the on the brake so that where they've rusted so we paint those up as well and at least then when you put the wheel back on it it's got a good finish to it because I mean they have quite <laughs> yeah you can rusted. see quite a lot of and the, that, all, uh, all that is is basically it's wear and tear but ultimately yeah. it's like some of the chemicals that are used at the cheaper car washes they'll actually strip the paint off the off the bare yeah. metal because it is quite a quite a thin I've never been to a cheaper car wash <laughs> <laughs> yeah believe that you'll believe anything you right, Mark? How's it going? Nice to see you. You didn't have to clean your car? Oh, that's alright, you didn't. <laughs> well, now it's ready for me to take it off. Give it a bit of a charge and then go pick up Jasper. And before I forget, if anyone fancies getting their car sorted out, petrol like detailing, brilliant. If you mention that you were sent there by James Cook, you know, give him a ring, say James Cook sent you, you'll get £100 off your detailing. So, boom. And for full disclosure, I'll get £100 off as well. So, so might get my 19 inch wheels powder coated. Don't like the silver. Never liked silver. And now, off to Mark's for a well earned coffee. Cheers, guys. See you. gonna do a quick bit of shopping ugh, before uh, grabbing that coffee. Do wish Tesla's had bag hooks. That would be good. Does your car have a bag hook in the no. back? I kind of hope that might be something they'd have uh, added to the later cars. My wife's car has it. It's the little things that ordinary car companies have worked out that people appreciate that Tesla's tend to lack. However, they do tend to have those things that ordinary car companies haven't worked out that people want, like smooth, powerful acceleration. Does the, uh, I can't remember if the button works on yours for my car. It's only gonna put 10 miles in, but yeah, it's, better it's better than nothing, yeah. Yeah, it does work. Yeah, it's better on mine at all. Mine's come out simply. <laughs> yeah, but yours will go back in when it gets bored. Yeah. I'm really missing the Evolve. Yeah, same here. Oh yeah. Bring on the nice summertime, that's what I say. Yep. Or at least spring. Final Cut I think is absolutely brilliant, but it's brilliant for quick. You know, if you want to do something properly, I do find Premiere Pro to be better. Luma Fusion, iPad Pro editing. I haven't got an, actually I do have an iPad. I could give Luma Fusion a go. I've got an iPad Air 2 or whatever it is. I bought it to go with my drone, but I don't know if I'm, Gonna bother. Bit of an impromptu editing lesson we're gonna have now. So, um, right, unfortunately, that is all the editing tutorial time we have. It was, it was good. Fun, though, it was it? fun. Yeah, thank you. Now I've got to head off and grab Jasper from school. Tesla, have, I've got a referral thingy for mm -hmm. either a, another Tesla ride on or the black limited edition wall mounted thingamajig. Yep. What do you reckon? What well, I've, you reckon gone, I've got a black one coming. So if you can hang on, you'll be able to see mine because it's on its way to me. I'm of two minds because I reckon the Tesla ride on would be easier to sell and I don't need the wall mounted one. But yeah. equally, I wouldn't say no. You know, because then I'd be able to put the UMC in the back of my car. Hang on, this is the man who loves black and you've been off with a black wheelchair. Yeah, but it wouldn't go on the outside of the house anyway. Well, it seems a shame to make those wheels dirty. We'll get them clean again though. Cheers. Look after yourself and Take see care. the sun's shining. Yes, get out on those Evolve boards again. Absolutely. Here I am, waiting for Jasper. As per usual. Good news is, battery really warmed up. On the way up, admittedly the car was also full of wheels, I was averaging something like 370 watt hours per mile, and now, I'm down to 290 watt hours per mile over the last 30 miles. So that's the effect you get from 
having a nicely warmed battery. I think that's pretty much all the updates for today. Come on Jazzy, hope you've enjoyed today's vlog post. If you have, remember to like it and share it and subscribe if you haven't already and follow me on Instagram if you don't already. And I will see you tomorrow for the next installment of my daily vlog. Bye. I managed 300 meters at six kilometers an hour this morning on our running machine. Excellent. And that is the furthest update. Um, how, many, how many days have you been out? It's eight day. days now. So, it's, I mean, it's definitely, it, it hurts a lot less than it did a week ago.